Hey, this is Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life. I wanted to talk about uh, something that I'm, I do when I remember to do it in my work, I do it, and it's really helpful. And I thought, oh, I've never actually really talked about this so much. So this is helpful for me, and I'll tell you what it is. So imagine this painting with all these black things on it, right? And it, it was, it's pretty cool. It was working pretty nicely. It's like all these colors, and it's pretty subtle, and there's yellows and oranges, and it had a kind of composition. And it had some dark, some accents. And one of the things that I find difficult, and I think I've seen this a lot for students as well, you know, people in my workshops, is that um, they, the work isn't, they start refining it before it's pushed far enough. And, and then once you start refining it, you like it so much that you're kind of committed and the painting kind of falls short. It didn't go as far because you just were not pushing it as far as you could. But how far do you push it? And plus you kind of like it, so, you, so it just kind of not quite gets there. So what I like to do, and it's kind of crazy, is that I will, I will take something bold, which is high value contrast, like this black, and I just completely go on top of it. And it's super strong in terms of, it's very noticeable. This, this conversation of these black shapes is really, really loud. And in comparison to the quiet stuff, you know, it's like, you can see how quiet that is in the background, and I've got this really loud thing. So now, I've, I've pushed it too far. Like, I don't like this, it's really noisy, but now I'm gonna knock it back, and then it's gonna be more, um, I'm gonna get it so it's more kind of in between. But by going too far, it allows me to go back, <laughs> and that's a, that's a better way to go when you're trying to take your work. You wanna go right to the edge, of too far. But if you go too far, which I just did deliberately, this took five minutes to do this, now I'm gonna go back and fix this painting, but it'll, it'll be way stronger as a result because this is so noisy, and now I'm gonna simmer it down and get, get this thing, because I want the painting to be strong. I want it to have a power. And before I did this, it was just a little weak, and I, I just didn't know what to do. This puts it in a reference, so it allows me to, you know, it's like, if you want to run really, really fast, you know, you practice running as fast as you can, and then your normal running goes a little faster just because you're so, that's what a track workout's for. In a way, that's what this is. This is, this is so loud, it's gonna make me paint stronger, um, but not too strong, and in relationship to the painting. Anyway, that's a little convoluted thing, but it's a really good technique. It's a really good way to sort of game it, to force yourself to make your art a lot stronger. Anyway, leave a comment below if that resonates or uh, stick a picture in of what you're working on. Love to see it. Okay, thanks.